The chairman of the Presidential Election Petition Court, Justice Harunas Samani, has dismissed the application for live coverage of court proceedings at the 2023 Presidential Election Petition Tribunal sitting in Abuja. The justice said the application by the PDP and the Labour Party lacked merit. The presidential candidate of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, had filed an application on May 8 for an order to allow the live coverage of the daily court proceedings on the case that brought against Bola Tinubu following the February 25 election. The Labour Party and its presidential candidate, Peter Obi, followed suit with a similar application asking that proceedings of the tribunal be televised. However, a week later, Tinubu opposed the application for a live broadcast of the proceedings of the election petition, describing it as an abuse of court process. The subject of our application, i.e. the live streaming and open telecast, is not in any way connected with the merits of our petition. The petition is separate, it's ongoing. The application did not succeed to have the televised version of the proceedings relate to the entire world. And as far as we are concerned, we are now set for hearing. Tomorrow, we'll be here by God's grace for a pre-hearing report that will determine the progress of the petition and the time the petition will be heard and concluded. Our position, as far as this is concerned, is that the issue of consolidation is one that is compelled by statute, and we have no objection to it. We are prepared to proceed. We have given their reasons. The court says it's a policy matter. We are not part of the policy-making apparatus of the court or any court for that matter. We are a council, and our duty is to bring whatever request we have to the court. If they agree, we say as the court pleases. If they disagree, we still say as the court pleases. So that's the position. They have disagreed, and we are moving on. What the situation is, is simply that there are numerous documents and they are supplying them to me. So it's not something I can stand here. In River State, for instance, let me just give you one example. There are two, 23 local governments. They have given us from ECFA, in respect of 15, we still have eight outstanding. And you can't make a conclusion based on 15 of 23. So that's what the quarrel, let me call it quarrel, that's what it is about. Any day we receive everything we are asking for, we will let you know. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.